my name is Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I don't do these often enough because I really enjoy doing them, um, but I never make time to sit down and do them, so this will be fun. I was tagged in the 25 questions uh, tag from uh, by Ursi over from Cersei's book. And I'll link her channel so you can go check her out if you haven't already. She has awesome reviews uh, and really fun tag videos, so highly recommend checking her out. Um, and these 25 questions are kind of like a get to know you sort of tag. So uh, hopefully by the end of this, you'll feel like you know me a little bit better. The first question, what is your channel about? Uh, books. That's pretty much it. I think I'm going to start including some of the video games I play in my reading wrap-ups, especially since I'm going to be a little slower on reading in the next couple months because of school. So um, that's just what I'm going to talk about. Number two, how old are you? I am 34. So uh, kind of uh, on the older side for booktube, I guess. Number three, what's your relationship status? It's a little personal, but uh, uh, I have a boyfriend who I've been with for six years now. Uh, no, almost six years. Six years in February. Number four, did you go to college slash occupation? Uh, yes, I did go to college. I got my bachelor's in European history. And then uh, a couple years ago, I got my master's in library science and immediately changed careers uh, over to tech, but um, but I do have the background in both of those. Number five, where are you from or where do you live? I am from the southwestern corner of Colorado, relatively small town. Um, I am currently living in Denver area. Uh, so still in Colorado. Born and raised, probably won't be leaving anytime soon. Number six, looking back, what would you tell your 10 year old self? That's kind of a hard one. I guess be more confident in yourself. Uh, I was pretty painfully shy when I was younger, but um, and I, I have kind of gotten better about it, but still somewhat uh, socially anxious. So just, just be more confident in yourself. Um, Number seven, tell us about your family. Uh, I have a relatively small family. I have one younger brother. Uh, most of my family still lives in Colorado. Um, I have family on the East Coast and I have family in England. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that pretty much covers everybody. Number eight, what's your favorite holiday? This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cop out and choose two, uh, even though it's supposed to be one favorite. I love Halloween because fall is my favorite season. I love the costumes. I love getting together with friends. Um, so that's always really appealed to me. And then I love certain things about Christmas. I don't love Christmas music 24-7, which I know is, is probably a uh, heresy, but I just, I just don't. I get kind of tired of it. But I love seeing family. I love giving gifts, and uh, there's it's the one time a year where you all get to get everybody gets to um, come together and just enjoy being together. So that's always been a favorite for me. Number nine, you have no budget. What is your dream vacation? That's that's a hard one. Um, I guess if I had no budget, I'd love to travel by train kind of throughout Europe and get to check out a lot of the things. I've been to a couple places in Europe, um, but there's so many castles and cathedrals and cool historical things that I've never gotten to see. So, And I love traveling by train as in uh, the western U.S. that's just not really, it's not as tenable. You can do it, but it's not the same. I got to travel by train a lot when I was in the UK, and I just, I love traveling that way. It's just awesome. Name your biggest pet peeves, and I guess for me, it usually 
boils down to either lack of listening or lack of empathy. I don't like when people aren't considerate of those around them, don't think about other people before they do stuff, so a lot of my day-to-day -day gripes have to do with people not really paying attention to others. 11. The What book changed your life? I don't know if I have one that changed my life. Um, I guess I'd pick Discworld just because that one's near and dear to my heart. I read a lot of Discworld when I um, was a teen. It's always my comfort read, so it it's always going to be a big part of my life. That's probably as close as I come to life changing. 12. What simple invention uh, improved the world? Printing press. It gave everybody access to books in a way that they didn't be have before that. So um, in terms of knowledge and in terms of enjoyment, I think it's pretty hard to be the printed press. Number 13, favorite movies and TV shows. Um, oops, I didn't mean to shake the camera. So I can't really pick one, but I have a couple. I adore uh, the movie Clue because the humor is fantastic. I love mysteries and it's just the individual um, performances particularly Madeline Kahn and Tim Curry are just top tier. I don't know how you can get better than Clue. I love that movie so much. Um, and I love The Princess Bride for many of the same reasons. Um, I'll never get tired of watching Princess Bride even if I watch it a million times. It's funny. It's cute. You just can't go wrong with Princess Bride. And then for a TV show, I'll pick the first season of Mandalorian. I have a lot to catch up on because I haven't seen the other season yet, but it finally did what I've been wanting Star Wars to do, which is focusing on someone other than the Skywalkers, getting to see a different corner of uh, the universe of Star Wars, and just being really fun Western appeal. Loved it. Absolutely one of my favorite shows. Number 14, describe yourself using three fictional characters. Uh, one is Alana from Tamara Pierce's Song of the Lioness series. She's hot-headed, she's stubborn, um, but she's very dedicated. Love her. She's formative to who I consider myself to be and my love of sword fighting. The second one would be... Uh, Gideon from Gideon the Ninth. I actually haven't finished that yet. I'm currently reading it, but uh, excuse the language, Gideon is such a shit and I love it so much. She's so contrarian. She's so unapologetically, I do what I want. I just, I adore Gideon so much. Um, and then number three is actually Dee from the Rat Queen's graphic novel series. She's very much uh, scholarly type, definitely on the shy side, would rather be reading a book than going to a party, and I just identify with that so much. Number 15, your dream job. So this has changed a lot. Um, my current dream job um, would be programming, but uh, like web development, but doing something related to books. I would love to be able to work on an app, um, like story graph or I don't think I'd want to work for Goodreads to be honest because then I'd have to deal with Amazon but um, I just would be really neat to be able to combine my love of books plus my interest in programming uh, that would be super fun so that would be my dream uh, maybe I'll get there someday I'll definitely get the programming side of it that's what I'm about to go to school for um, but God only knows uh, if I'll ever get to circle back around to books on the, the job front 16. If magic was real, what would you learn first? And honestly, it would probably be flight. I've always loved flying and being able to control it myself and just kind of take off and go anywhere just sounds super cool. So that would be my first pick. Number 17. Uh, share a favorite childhood memory. And this one was a little bit hard for me to think of, I guess. I mean, not that I had bad times as a kid, but thinking of a specific memory. 
And I guess I would pick when I was a teen, I was in a martial arts group that was called Gumdo. It's if you're familiar with Kendo at all, it's basically the Korean version of that. If you're not familiar with Kendo at all, it's um like a Korean sword fighting essentially. It's very Gumdo is a lot smaller than Kendo, a lot fewer schools, but uh I the school that we had was very close knit. Everybody hung out together. We would um, go on camping trips and have tournaments out in the woods, and we would watch uh, kung fu movies together. So just just being part of that community is always something that I'm going to treasure. And I'm still really close friends with some of the people that uh, I was in Gumdo with. So it's it's something that's always going to be uh, in the back of my mind. Number 18, what is your favorite social media platform and why? Uh, it's YouTube because uh, I love being part of the booktube community. I love having people talk about books. I love how much interaction there is between even really small channels uh, here in a way that I don't really feel like I get in like Facebook, Instagram. I just, I feel like you get to have so much more interaction here and I love that. Number 19, if you could pick any book character, who would you spend the day with? And I think I'm going to pick Vimes. Because uh, I feel like you won't be bored. You'll be off on some crazy adventure. And now that he uh, is a recovering alcoholic, you're less likely to be spending it in a bar. But I just think, I feel like it would just be fun. Uh, and exciting. And potentially very dangerous. But that's fine. It would be exciting. Oh, I suppose I should say from Pratchett's Discworld, in case anyone's not already familiar with Samuel Vimes. Number 20, what's your spirit animal? I don't know that I have one that I would pick. Um, spirit animal. Dragon! Because I love dragons, uh, and flying, and fire, so dragons. They're not real, but I don't care because it didn't specify a real animal. A one, what's an old person thing that you do? Uh, I hate last minute plans. Uh, and I feel like that's kind of an old person thing where like I just, once the day is over, I just want to be at home. Uh, I'm willing to do, uh, jump online and talk to people, but don't ask me to go out to a bar uh, at five o'clock if you want to meet up at six. It's just not happening. Number 22. Do you have a hidden talent? I can't really think of anything. I mean, I'm double jointed, if that counts. I mean, I could do this, which is kind of gross. Uh, that's it, I guess. That's all I got. Number 23, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I mean, hopefully not in a very different place. I hope I'm still talking about books. I hope I'm still uh, in the same communities. I love both my real life friends and my online friends. So, I mean, honestly, I hope I'm right where I am now. Uh, share an item and tell us its significance. Since I have it in the background of nearly all my videos, I might as well talk about my small sword. So, this is my small sword. This is kind of a close up view of it, which we like to refer to as a murder teacup. Uh, mostly because uh, when you, the idea is that when you hold it, you're pinching it between your thumb and forefinger, and you're not just like ham fisting this, so you're supposed to kind of hold it delicately, like a murder teacup. Um, and my boyfriend gave this to me for my birthday last year. I love it dearly. Small sword is one of those weapons that is just, I'm not, I'm a total newbie at it. So I would not say that I have very high skill level. I just have a lot of fun because it's very, um, for someone who's done mostly longsword or um, sort of katana style 
sword fighting in the past, it's very fun to have a weapon that is very delicate and refined and you can't help but feel a little bit sassy using it because it's it's just it's just a pointy boy so it's just fun but that is my awesome uh, murder teacup that I will talk about then let's see what's next ah so the last question is uh number 25 tag some people this one, I'm going to go ahead and tag Kate from the Literary Apothecary if she hasn't done it because I'd love to know more about her. And uh, I'll go ahead and tag Michael Nip because he recently tagged me in something and uh, I always enjoy seeing him do videos. So those are my choices. Hope you guys got to know a little bit about me and that this was a fun one and I will see you in the next one.